Hollywood couple Judd Apatow and Leslie Mann have quite the real estate portfolio of homes in California. Their main mansion is located in Brentwood and cost them over $18 million, while they also purchased a family beach house in Malibu, and more recently, a $14 million condo in Santa Monica. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home which we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. And once you watch, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. When Judd Apatow began working on the film The Cable Guy as a producer in 1996, he had no idea that he was about to meet the love of his life in Leslie Mann. But as soon as he laid eyes on her during pre-production, he knew he was smitten. Speaking about the time that they met, Judd would tell Elle magazine that the first thing he said upon seeing Leslie at her audition was, There goes the future Mrs. Apatow. I had a soul connection instantly. I meant it. That's why I remember it. Leslie, on the other hand, had something of a crush on the film's director, Ben Stiller, but she decided to give Apatow a chance anyway when he asked her out for a dinner date at his house. He decided to make her a romantic dish of spaghetti with ragu sauce and Wonder Bread with margarine. The next morning, Leslie knew that she was in love too. The duo was wed in June of 97 and then welcomed two daughters, Maud in December of 97 and Iris in October of 2002. Since then, both Leslie and the girls have gone on to appear in a number of films that Judd had directed, including Knocked Up, Funny People, and This Is 40. But this family doesn't only work together, of course, they also live together, and not just anywhere, but in their handful of multi-million dollar properties across Los Angeles. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and this one checking out the homes of Judd Apatow and Leslie Mann. But before we begin, please take a second to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. You can also hit me up on Instagram if you want to chat. And now, let's get into this video. We're going to start with the family's primary home, a spectacular mansion located in Brentwood, California. Judd and Leslie purchased this house in an off-market deal in 2009 for an epic $18.25 million. While that means there aren't too many photos out there of this place, we've still managed to dig up some details for you. That being said, the images you're about to see are from a similar Brentwood home that Judd actually used to shoot his movie, This Is 40. Judd and Leslie's actual home is said to boast more than 10,000 square feet of space with an exterior made up mostly of white brick. Built to order in 2005 by the former owner, a famed producer, the home features five bedrooms and seven baths. It also includes amenities like a 17-seat screening room as well as a pool with an additional 3,500 square feet of outdoor entertaining space. According to the records, when Judd and Leslie bought the home, they also got to keep the majority of the furniture that was already here. The Apatow family has lived here ever since they dropped a fortune on it, and by all accounts, they've never considered moving on. So it must be a pretty beautiful and comfortable home to live in, but it's also not their only one. So let's move on to Malibu next. In 2013, Judd and Leslie paid a whopping $11.85 million for a beach house property in Malibu, California. This thoroughly updated 1930s cottage is located in the guarded gates of the celebrity hotspot known as The Colony. This enclave has long attracted a wide range of some very rich people, including the likes of Jason Statham, Sting, and even Tom Hanks, who actually owns two homes in the area, one on the beach and another directly across across the street. As for the Apatows, while well, they scoop themselves up a white shuttered and blue stucco two-story residence that measures in a modest 2,550 square feet with three bedrooms and three and a half baths. Just to the side of this home is a detached two-car garage located in the midst of a well-shaded courtyard. Not far from there is a Dutch-style front door that leads directly into the main house. Stepping through that door, you'll find yourself in a bit of an awkwardly designed entryway, and then you're immediately greeted by a kitchen and media lounge combination. The kitchen is equipped with a mahogany top center island and the usual suite of high-grade stainless steel appliances. Moving on, 
to the much larger and more comfortable looking combination living and dining room, you'll find bright white painted floors anchored on either side by a pair of white brick fireplaces. There is also an extra wide picture window with breathtaking sea and sky views from Point Doom to Catalina Island. As for the primary suite, it boasts a fireplace of its own as well as a compact ensuite bath with a marble top vanity and white tile lined shower. There's even an L shaped terrace attached to the room that spans the full width of the house. Meanwhile, an adjoining sun porch is attached to the living room with wraparound windows and wood frame glass doors, as well as a party sized sofa that's perfect for taking in the sights either as a family or during some gin soaked party nights. Not far from there is a spiraling staircase that links the upper deck to a lower one, which itself is only a short walk away from direct access to the beach. Despite how nice this getaway was, Leslie and Judd would call this place home for only two years before deciding to sell it. They listed the home in 2015 and were eventually able to clear just under $11 million. But we've still got one more home of theirs to take a look at, so let's go on over to Santa Monica. In 2018, Leslie and Judd made a splash when they spent $14.5 million on a mansion sized penthouse situated on top of an iconic 1960s Santa Monica high rise designed by renowned architect Quincy Jones. This entire building was once owned by one of Hollywood's most popular actors, William Holden. In fact, he lived here until 1981, which is when he slipped while intoxicated and hit his head on the way down, eventually bleeding to death from a severe cut to his forehead. Yikes. Unclear if he was living in the penthouse at the time of his accident, but considering he owned the entire building, it's kind of a safe bet. Either way, that was decades ago, and now it's the Apatow's new home. Two secured elevators open directly into this sprawling full floor spread. They boast six bedrooms as well as seven and a half bathrooms with more than eight thousand square feet of living space. Vast walls of glass sliders lead out to wraparound terraces with complimentary panoramic views that take in the Century City skyline as it sweeps over Santa Monica, across the ocean, and all the way around to Malibu's Point Doom. Back inside, glossy textured floors lead the way to a walk-in wet bar and a carved stone fireplace. Honestly, it looks like it would be more at home in a French chateau than a glass penthouse overlooking the city. As for the living room, it's cavernous and flooded with light thanks to three walls of floor to ceiling windows as well as a pyramid shaped skylight. Outside of the main area, there's an additional and separate formal dining room as well as a library and an office. Rounding out those living spaces is a media lounge as well as an eat-in kitchen with all the bells and whistles. Then there are the bedrooms, four of which are sizable guest rooms and on top of those rooms, there are two master suites. One of these has a dressing hall lined with wardrobes and the other offers a combo dressing room and bathroom decked out with rust colored marble as well as a jetted tub. Topping off the home is an additional 2,100 square foot private rooftop terrace with wraparound city, mountain and ocean views that offer plenty of opportunity for sky gazing. Not to mention there's also a spa tub and barbecue center up here. All right everyone, that is going to bring our Judd Apatow and Leslie Mann house tour to a close. Be sure to let me know what you thought of the couple's homes in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and please take a moment to like, subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't done so already and give me a follow on Instagram if you want to chat. I'll see you all in another video. Bye!